Most businesses aren't looking to pay a hefty price tag for a help desk system. And fair enough, they're already paying so many subscriptions. But what they do need is a simple way to track requests, tickets, and issues from their customers and clients without things slipping through the cracks. And that's exactly what this Airtable build delivers. Hey there, I'm Alex Knowles from automationhelpers.com and we help companies get automated using industry-leading portals, apps, and integrations. I've built a full ticketing system in Airtable designed specifically for handling requests, issues, or support tasks without needing expensive software. It's quick, it's efficient, and it's automated, so you and your team spend less time managing the tickets and more time actually resolving them. Let me show you how it works. So let's not waste any time and jump into this ticketing system, the Airtable base that we've built. Now within it, we've got multiple tables. Think agents, contacts, tickets, responses, knowledge bases, feedback, and SLA rules. Our agents connect directly to our contacts as well as tickets and the responses that allow our team to resolve the issues that have been risen by our customers. We've also got the knowledge base that enables our team to look at quick solutions to problems they'll face while they're working with our clients. And the feedback enables us to understand how our team is actually performing when reaching back out to the customers. We've also got the SLA rules, which we won't touch on in this video. If you do want to check out how you can build an automation system that not only looks after your customer support, but also the entirety of your business workflows, then make sure you check out the video that's linked in the description below. But moving beyond the bases, the tables, and the records we've created, we've also got automations that keep in contact with our customers as we send responses. So here we can see that we are sending a confirmation email when a ticket has been completed. We've got the notify agent. We are also automatically assigning an agent to a ticket. Now, if you do want to learn how you can enable round robin assigning through Airtable, make sure you check out this video. Now, beyond the automations, we've also got interfaces, and this is where the magic happens. It's the place that we store a directory of our contacts, our agents, but more importantly, it's where our team actually manages the ticket support. So it's from here that they can view the tickets that are assigned to them. Remember, that is automatically assigned through our automations, but it's also the place where they access their help desk interface. So we've built this one of two ways. Now, the first way is by using what we have available directly within Airtable interfaces. Think just clearly showing the, the ticket account connected, the ticket contact, the ticket itself, what is the request or the issue. And within the interface, we also have the ability to either submit a response through a form, which then triggers an email to be sent to the client and of course updates all the necessary tables, or we can open up the email by selecting this button here. And then that enables us to send off an email, which is connected to the actual ticketing system and automatically again, updates all of our fields. The other way to do this is through custom interface extensions. Now this is a new feature and we're not sure who's actually gonna get access to it. If you want to take a look at how you could set up SMS conversations with your customers, then you want to check out this video where Dan jumps into how you can build out a custom interface extension that brings your SMS communications directly into Airtable. But what we have built here is a help desk s custom interface. It enables your team to be able to converse and communicate with your clients directly from Airtable. So really, when are you going to want an Airtable ticketing system over paying a subscription for a help desk type platform? Well, this is for cost sensitive teams. You don't want another 50 or $100 per seat spent on another subscription. If you've got small support volume and you're only handling a number of tickets per day or week, then this is the right solution for you. If you and your team are looking for an automated ticketing system that just makes sense, or you're looking for an overall automated work management system, do not hesitate to reach out to us at automationhelpers.com, where a team of experts are offering a free 30-minute consultation, so book yours today.